And so the way 10 print works is you flip a coin and if your coin is heads, you make a slash going one way. And if your head is, if your flip is tails, then you make a slash going the other way. And so the way it ends up looking when you fill a screen with it is something like this. So this is written in Pygame. And other than the setup, it's a pretty straightforward program. So with that, let's jump into building this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an empty Python file. Right now I have 10 print.py. And then I'm going to import Pygame uh, because that's what we're gonna use to draw all these lines in here. And then we're gonna want to have that uh, coin toss or that randomness in there, so we're gonna import random. All right, and then let's set a screen height and a screen width. And let's set it to be a square of 800 pixels by 800 pixels. We can then do a pygame.init. And then let's create a display. But I'd like to set a caption here, which is gonna change the name of that window. And let's set it to 10 print in pygame. And then we can do screen equals pygame.display.set mode. And then we can do screen width screen height all right and then let's do one more thing let's set a running variable to be true so that we can exit our program let's create the the color of our lines and the color of our background so I'm gonna set white equals 255 255 255 and that's red green and blue and then for black I'm gonna set it to be 0 0 0 all right, so let's pick a square size. In my case, I'm gonna go with 50. So let's do square equals 50. Um, actually, no, let's let's do for the same that we, I just showed you. Square equals 20. Let's close that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's jump into this loop while running. And so as you saw before, I kind of had, um, let me run that one more time. I kind of had this blank screen and then when I press the space bar, it kind of started to draw different versions of that line. So if I press space bar once, you'll see it updates the screen, but otherwise it doesn't change the screen at all. So I'm going to make a while running loop and wait to get that space bar. So let's do key equals pygame.key.get pressed and so that's going to get us the key uh, that's currently being pressed on the skateboard on, on the uh, keyboard <laughs> over and over in the loop so if key, key has the uh, pi game dot k underscore space and so this is how you say if the keyboard is uh, space bar is what's being pressed let's do a draw screen function and then we can do a if key pi game dot key underscore q and so this is if the q key is pressed on the keyboard let's exit our program and then because of the way pi game works if you click the uh, x button the close button i'll show you right now let's look at that real quick if i were to press this close button right now it wouldn't work so you need to capture that too and so the way that we capture that is with an for event in pygame.event.get and then we do if the event.type is equal to pygame.quit we can set running equals false and then that would that would quit out of our program and then finally we'll do a pygame.display.flip and so what that does is that replaces the the screen with whatever is currently written to um, this screen variable. So let's write our draw screen now. So what we wanted to do is we want to take another look at this program, right? So we have lines that go across and depending on the coin flip, they're either flipped to the right or to the left. And so it's going to be a diagonal line either way. So let's do that with a few for loops and by clearing the screen. All right, so def 
draw screen. All right, then we're gonna do this screen dot fill, right? We're gonna fill our screen with black so that we can clear out everything that we drew before. And then we can do a 4x in range. And then we're gonna start from the zero width pixel. And again, the zero width pixel is all the way top left over here. And um, that happens for both X and Y. And then the maximum X pixels over here, the maximum Y pixels over here, and the max X and max Y both are over here. So if we do for X in range, and then we say um, screen width, right? Because that's gonna be our X. And then we're gonna add the square here. And so in a normal range loop, you have this um, zero to this number. By adding this third number, this is how much we're gonna iter skip by. So we'll start at zero, then we'll go to zero plus square, and then square plus square. So we'll go zero, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we'll jump 20 pixels each time, or 20 each time. So for Y in range, let's do the same thing with Y. Zero screen height, because the Y axis is our height, and then we'll do square again. And then we're gonna do a if random dot random, okay? And so random dot random is gonna return a decimal value between zero and one. And so the way that we get a 50% probability is we can do if random dot random is greater than 0 0.5. And if it's greater than 0 0.5, let's draw a diagonal line. So we do pi game dot draw dot line we're going to draw on our screen a white line from our X and our Y position to our X plus the square and our Y plus the square. So this is going to draw a diagonal going down and across. So let's, let's look at this. So if I open up the program one more time, you're gonna see this is the one that's going to be going down and across because the numbers are going up. And when the numbers go up, they go down and across this way. All right, so let's do the opposite. So in order to make a diagonal line the other way, we go pi game dot draw dot line screen white, and then we'll do X plus, and then we'll do X and then Y plus the square, right? So that's gonna start at the bottom and then work its way up. So, and then we'll do for the other side, X plus square and Y. All right, so save that. One more time. And now let's try running our program. And if I press spacebar, it, wor it works perfectly. All right, so this was a pretty quick intro. Um, there's plenty of places you can take this. Uh, thanks for watching.